Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Don. A Baldur's Gate 2 is the even more critically acclaimed sequel to the critically acclaimed Baldur's Gate. It was initially released in the year 2000, with the Enhanced Edition being released in 2013. Uh, the Enhanced Edition adds a few things to the game, like some extra companions, along with their quests, and some quality of life improvements. Uh, also, with the Enhanced Edition, you can buy the bundle, so basically you get all the expansions for the price of one. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2 is a continuation of the ball spawn story from the first Baldur's Gate. And if you played Siege of Dragonspear, it is a direct continuation from the end of that expansion. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2 is extremely well received by the fans of Baldur's Gate, uh, so much so that you typically see people recommend playing Baldur's Gate 2 instead of Baldur's Gate 1. So uh, people typically ask, which one should I play? They say, oh, don't worry about the first one, just play Baldur's Gate 2. I'm actually of the opposing mindset. I think you should play the first Baldur's Gate. Uh, for one, the experience and the story. And also, you'll miss out on a lot of references in Baldur's Gate 2 if you didn't play the first one. But also, you really appreciate the changes they made in Baldur's Gate 2, a lot of the improvements, if you played the first one first. But that's just me. So you see three different campaigns here. Uh, Shadows of Om is the base Baldur's Gate 2 campaign. A Throne of Ball is the expansion. It's kind of a pseudo Baldur's Gate 3. And then the Black Pits 2 over here, which is not associated with the story and the, uh... It's not associated with the Ball Spawn story. It's its own standalone thing. I think it might have some connections with the first Black Pits, but I have not played this uh, Black Pits 2, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, before we get started, a disclaimer. I technically have less experience with Baldur's Gate 2 than I do with Baldur's Gate 1. While I have beaten Baldur's Gate 2, I've played it less than Baldur's Gate 1. So, while I remember a lot of the big plot points, a lot of the small details, I've probably forgotten because it's been an extremely long time since I've played this game. Uh, but we're going to jump in, I'm going to let the cinematic play. spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer, Saravok, was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, lord of murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his tank back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravak. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. This cutscene was pretty startling for, uh, for young Bring It Dawn. 
it's a it's a pretty intense opening cinematic. Alright. Single player, of course. New game. And import. You can import your uh, character. Yeah, I have it labeled as import this one. Uh, you can import your ball spawn from the first game, or Garion's Ward, however you want to label him. And if you saw, if you watched my first playthrough, or my, sorry, my LP of uh, Baldur's Gate 1, you'll see that the stats are the same, efficiencies and everything are the same as well. Appearance, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think I'm going to go with blue this time. Like a nice dark blue with uh, maybe like a gold trim. Or is that brown? I don't like a bright shiny gold. I like a more of a darker, dingier gold if I can find it. That looks pretty good. Alright, I think it's the male one voice that I like. <laughs> no one is more worthy. Yeah, I think it's that one. Let me just double check. Let's do this quick and painful. To battle with no regrets. To battle and victory. To battle and victory. So I'm pretty sure I could import the uh, the voice that I had in the f that I used in my uh, LP of Baldur's Gate. This sounds like Pete from Mickey Mouse. Uh, but I'm gonna change it. No one is more worthy. I think we're gonna do this one. A much more heroic sounding voice instead of a. Uh, Lame Disney villain. A name, we'll keep that the same. And, uh, yeah. Let's get started. Core rules, that's what I played the first one on. Let's get started. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 2, everybody. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more... experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Emowyn, what's going on? You messed with your head too, huh? All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and we got jumped. I'm not going to read the journal updates. I don't think I want to remember it all. He's been doing things to us. Donald, we have to get out of here. Alright, I'm moving. I ache all over though. Yeah, me too. But my head hurts the most. Yours too by the sound of the screaming. We just have to get out of here. We'll go, but I must know who is behind this. Later. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I could get loose again if he came back. My head hurts so bad. It isn't like a normal pain, Donald. It's on the inside. Like my bones made a little dagger. Yeah, like my bones made a little dagger and it won't go away. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, alright? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins, assassins came after our captor, I think. There's people dead all over, and the fighting is still going on. I could hear it. Are you going to get moving, or do I leave without you? Yeah, we won't... Yeah, sorry. We won't get far on our own. Is there anyone here who can join with us? Minsk and Chihira are just northeast of us, trapped in cells sort of like yours. We should free them and then find some gear. We should look in that room to the west first. West and just a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's a room off the corner of this one. I don't think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff. But anything is better than nothing. Now let's go. Oh, as far as uh, importing your character goes, 
Uh, not all items transfer, but some do. I think the most important uh, aspect of importing your character is you get to bring all over all your uh, stats and gear. So if you use all the tomes from the first game on yourself to improve your stats, uh, those carry over. But your companion stats do not carry over to the second game. So if you use tomes on your uh, companions, it will not transfer. What? If I'm sure there's ways you can change that. Uh, and again, not all items transfer, but some do. I didn't really care which ones came over except for one. And we'll find that in a second in this room over here. Uh, uh, first, let's yeah. level up uh, M1 here. So the first game, M1 was just a thief. You could uh, dual class her if you wanted to. But in this one, she is a uh, mage thief. And she actually starts off with a lot of spells, which is really nice. What do you want? Most important of which is a uh, haste, of course. Web. I'm just trying to get familiar with what she currently has. Let's just do it this way. So I'll remember everything she starts with. Haste is again my favorite spell. Uh, fireball will come in handy though. I could see. Is this for lightning? No, cold resist. Alright, Breach is actually really good as well. I'm gonna bring a couple of those. Alright. Yes. Let's rescue our companions. Yeah, yeah. Name it. Gotcha. Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. Minsk, your mighty warrior spirit must find these bars unbearable. Time is short for talk that is small. Release me. I'll rain beatings down upon all who have dared touch me, and... And Danaer, she will be avenged. Danaer, is there another trapped here? Trapped? Her spirit... Her spirit is trapped in a cage created by my failure. I was to guard her, but she... She... They... They killed her as I watched, you see. I know not who they were, but... But I will redeem myself. Minsk, that's horrible. I'm so sorry for you. I won't cry for the dead. I won't. Okay, maybe a little. But I'll staunch the flow of tears with righteous fury. Lullaby and goodnight, evil. Minsk will make you pay. Will you help me? We must join together once more, and our fear will be such that bards will run their quills dry. Yes, ink will be scarce wherever we go. I'll try and free you, but I don't know how to open your cell. I do not know either. The bars have no lock at all. They are smithed together. I am proud they are, that they feared me enough to imprison me permanently. Permanently? That's going to make this difficult. But you keep looking, of course. You would never give up. I know this. A hero always succeeds, and a hero never stops short of his goal. But he also needs the key or switch. I don't know where they are. You have brushed me aside with your words. You won't help. Boo can see it now. You do not intend to cut my chains. You only intend to yank them. I'll make sure you do not live long enough to abandon more friends. I will... I will... I will do all of this as soon as I get these bars open. Ra. The bars! They bend and twist with my berserker strength! Minsk and Boo are free! No, you will not! No! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes. Now we can resume our adventures together. Uh, there are friends to avenge and villains to smack about the face and neck. Right, Boo? Yeah, together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Answer they will. My sword shall be the question. We shall have fistfuls of sweet, sweet justice, and our enemies will be slain beneath our feet. What? Yes, but... but... all right. Boo tells me that I am raving again. I did not notice a difference, but I shall heed his words nonetheless. Come now, we must go. Yes, Minsk and Boo and you, together again. Beware, villains. I will force justice down your evil, evil throats. 
Ah, I see you still have that rodent. Do I ask how you've kept it hidden from your, from our captors? They'll ask questions better left to age sages. Boo is quick and evasive, and there is ever so much of Minsk to search. There is no hope of getting us apart. Ew, I really don't want to think about that too much. Minsk and Boo are Minsk and Boo. We shall not be separated. Shall we go? The butts of evil await my boot print. Right you are, Minsk. Wherever evil dust lay its dirty feet, we shall mop the floor with its buttocks. I have lost myself in your words, but Boo thinks you're just a ducky. Onward. What? Alright, now we have you our point. good I friend punch. Minsk. Oh, he starts with Mason, this one. Oh, not two weapon style. Sorry, I want two handed weapon style. Though, I might have him dual wield this this game. Hmm. I mean, he still has plenty of pips to go, so I'm not super worried about it. And he already has two points in a two handed sword. But yeah, I might have him dual wield in this in this playthrough. I'll grab this for now. He already has two pips in it. If I want to dual wield, he's already it's already a viable option. And obviously, I'm going to go maces if I decide to dual wield with him. He also has a lot more health than he had in the first one. Huh? All right, let's save uh, hmm. Dinah Air. Quickly, oh, sorry, you Jahira. Get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. Uh, have you any idea why we are here? No, I do not. And I'd rather we further the investigation at a time that was more in our favor. We have friends to find, and, in time, enemies to punish. I'll repeat what I believe led to our capture if I must. My doubt it shall prove to be different than what is already known by you. My husband Khalid and I have traveled with you for some seasons now, and the places we have seen number too many to name. Your unique heritage has proven a magnet to adventure, for better or worse, and your foster father was right in directing us to watch over you. We remain in your company as friends more than guardians, and our exploits together have left the land for the better. I wasn't asking who you were, I was asking why we were here. We have earned many enemies, but we have dispatched them all. Whoever has trapped us now is certainly powerful to have done this so easily. Once we know, we will deal with them in due course. But for the time being, it is more important we retrieve our friends and companions and leave this place. Uh, where is Khalid now? He is not with you? I do not know where he is, and it worries me. No doubt he was taken as we were, though it seems we were all meant for different fates. From the state of my head, I think I have been drugged, though I have been spared any serious physical mistreatment. You, however, look as though you have been treated most unfavorably, and I should not like to think of Khalid receiving the same. I will help. Uh, but your cage seems to be sealed mag uh, magically. I must said magnetically. <laughs> I don't know. If you are sufficient strength, it is possible the cage may be broken. If not, you may have to search for whatever key it might need. Do try to hurry. I wish to be out of here before the owner returns. These of our capture suggest it may be beyond our power to resist. It would be best to face the culprit another day on our own terms. So go and be quick. We must be. We must free ourselves soon. Yes. It is done. How simple. What? Ready and willing. Good to go. Right you are. Alright, alright. Huh? Said if I'm strong enough. Yes. Am I not strong enough? What if I do... Oh, where is it at? Is this... Drop on Holy Might, because that pumps me up to 22 strength. Let's wish. try it again. Uh, out with it. Now let me break if it. If you wish. What? Fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. There's something I want to check before I do anything else. I want to make sure that the one item that I wanted to import it is done. Imported. Something up? No problem. So, if at all. I remember correctly, this should be trapped. Yes, yeah, so I keep forgetting to hold tab. You can count on me. Then if we go in here. This way, then. Gotcha. There they are, the golden pantaloons. Good to go. Alright, so I think she has proficiency in daggers. I don't remember. Let me just double check. Yes, so she will use that dagger. 
I'll hold on to the golden pantaloons and the potions. Huh? As I thought. Alright, long sword. I can actually use that. Okay. So, uh, a typical cell key that one might find in any jail. This one may fit Jahira's cell. So, Mints can actually use that. Because he does have proficiency in maces. Yes. Okay, at least now we're equipped. Simple. Let's grab all of this real quick. Helmet for me. All right, let's go wish. save Jahira. Out with it. If you wish. servant awaits. Well, that is a relief, and about time too. We should be going immediately. Not only might our host come back, but I simply, sorry, I simply must see the sun again, and none too short a time. This dank place stifles me. I will leave immediately and celebrate once we're out of this hole. As you would have it, though there are other friends we must find as well. It is good to share your company again. Huh? If you say so. I await your need. Alright, so Shorty has two into club. I'll do sword and shield style. Well. Yeah, because she can use a shield with her buckler, so. Oh sorry, with a sling. So I think this is more prudent. Yes. She makes an okay tank as well. Yes. She has spells memorized already? She does. Fantastic. What? Uh. Yeah. So we need to find her a weapon. She should have um I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure she has. Yeah, I understand the scimitar proficiency, but whatever. Time to move? I am ready. It is done. There we go. At least now we're equipped. Let's see about talking to the golem. Uh, prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Wow, a golem. Powerful magic stuff. Odd that it's not hostile. I suppose its maker didn't expect us to escape, so never got orders for restraining us. They only do exactly what they are directed to. They don't really think. If it hasn't been told to keep quiet, we might get some information out of it. Right, he says the same thing. Uh, who is this master that you speak of? I'm not permitted to speak with prisoners. Return to your cells, as the master's wish. Uh, where are we, and why have we been brought here? You're his prisoners. He's brought you to his home because he owns you now. You must return to your cell. It is the master's will. Uh, the master wants me to be free. He is the one who released me. Only I release the master's prisoners. You're his and must return to the cells. It is his wish. I will not return to that cage. Do you think to stop me from leaving? I am not bound to stop you. The guardian will stop you from leaving. Return to your cell. It is the master's wish. Who or what is the guardian? The guardian will keep you from the master's chambers. You must return to your cells. It is the master's will. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try and fight this guy. I think we can take him. Nope, we cannot. Because uh, we don't have magic weapons. So forget what I was saying. Come on, come down. There we go. It is 
done. So I don't actually remember which direction is the way we're supposed to go. So obviously I want to explore all the uh, I thought. side areas sure. first. Okay, the map will probably tell us. If you wish. Uh, what do you want? The portal requires a key of some sort. You cannot step through without this item. If you okay. wish. Uh, so that's the exit. Yeah, yeah. Been so long since I played. Hmm. It is done. As I thought. Simple. So yeah, when you import items, uh, certain items will be replaced with the wish. items that you import. Uh. Yep. Gotcha. Huh? What do you want? Okay, fine. If you wish. Uh. What do you want? Yeah, you know, something that I've never tried. Good to go. Right, you are. And if you all can even right, pickpocket this right. guy. No problem at all. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. No items that can be stolen. Fantastic. Hmm. It is done. Come on, me. Oh. The bodies of several black hooded thieves litter the hallway, slaughtered by a massive release of magical energy. From the distant explosions that you can still hear, it seems as if whatever battle killed these men still rages. What? Huh? As I thought. Yes. So, okay. Remember this Maybe part. Do we have a spell? Ready and willing. You point, I punch. What? Huh? Time for some card. Yes, if you wish. I thought there was a. Hey, there he is. This is the hand of justice! This machine buzzes with electrical, with electrical energy. There we go. Nice. Now this is a switch of some kind. Perhaps it will stop this lightning contraption from conjuring any more of these annoying little methods. I'm sorry, did I not activate it? Here. Alright, there we go. Lightning machine stops once you flick the switch. I think is what it said. Alright, there we go. It is done. As I thought. This room is dominated by mineral deposits and crystals. It seems to be a natural cavern that this strange prison has been built around. There holds an aura of power, and several pools with swirling lights grace the edge of the of the rough cavern. Simple. As you peer into the pool, a void opens and icy tendrils pull at your awareness, demanding that you submit. In horror, you look away and the tendrils recede. The pool is calm. What? If you wish. <laughs> Ataka! Minsk, welcome. You've escaped somewhat later than I had hoped. I am Ataka. I see whom I must talk to. No offense, Minsk, but I'm curious how Donald will react to me. Donald, I have a question. I have questions. Be not afraid. You have my welcome to this little piece of this place. I do so try to keep it more appealing than the rest. Uh, my thanks. How is it that you know my name? What is going on here? Your name is well known amongst those who watch. Your life's thread is bright indeed, though in your path lies many a dark and frayed end. 
As to easing your mind and answering such questions as those that surely plague you, it is not my place to do so. I am sorry. Uh, then of what use can you be... Yeah, sorry, then of what use can you be to me? Such assistance as you will get from me depends on yourself. Are you prepared to answer a question? To what end? Uh, why do you need to ask me a question? I suffer a terrible curiosity. I see paths that branch in a thousand directions, and each a thousand again. But for all I see, Donald remains a mystery. Oops, sorry. All I wish is a single answer. Tip the scales this once to me, and I shall tip them to you in return. Shall you answer me, or shall I strike out or shall you strike out on your own? I'll answer your question if it will lead to your making sense. Then here's my hypothetic hypothetical. <laughs> then here's my hypothetical question. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. The mage responsible appears and speaks. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell, there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die. But your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die, but you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling press the buttons, both of you will die. If both of you press your respective buttons, both of you will die. The mage says that you have one turn of the hourglass to decide your action. Then he leaves. This is silly. Buttons are not how one escapes dungeons. I would smash the button and rain beatings liberally down on the wizard for playing such a trick. Uh, verily, of that I have no doubt, Minsk. But the question is hypothetical and requires an answer born of the wisdom of Donald, not your impatience. Tell me, Donald, do you press the button? Uh, yeah, I'll press the button. I'm a paladin. I'm a hero. Interesting. No action can be performed without consequences, especially that which follows the noble path. Deal with this, noble one. Yes. Right, the pool turns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. As you stare at the pool, you catch a glimpse of a cityscape. For a brief moment, with absolute clarity, you watch as the city changes. Ages pass and the inhabitants drop their primitive tools and ways. Discoveries are made, and the minds of the people change and grow, every day grasping a new fact or invention. The image slips away until you see only a pool. Oh, well done. It appears you can deal with the consequences of your actions. In return for your indulgence, I offer advice. Seek out Relive. He waits for you. He waits for such as you. Offer him the release that he craves, and you shall find the focus of your journey shall, sh shall soon become apparent. Farewell. One purple crystal. Oh, no, it's a purple crystal over there as well. If you wish. Oh, here we go. Uh, the pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. For a brief tantalizing moment, the pool clears. You watch and wonder as a world is born, and fire and molten rock lands rise and fall. Gaseous liquid snake and pour, and time passes. Eventually, seas are formed, and a spark of life appears. The first organism is created, and plant life begins its slow, inevitable blanketing of this new world. Huh. Alright, then we're going to call it here. In the next episode, we'll continue making our great escape. Yeah, see what this dungeon is all about. So I don't remember all the details. I mean, I remember, again, most of them. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back in Baldur's Gate 2. I'm sure you guys are too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.